We are asked to find out what is Thevenin's resistance across these two terminals. There is A and B. So we have two approaches. One by finding out what is the open circuit voltage across the terminals and what is the short circuit current through it and then find out R Thevenin as open circuit voltage by short circuit current. This is one method when we have dependent source in the circuit. Here we have one dependent current source. So we cannot find out what is the Thevenin's resistance directly. Another approach is put a test source either a voltage source or a current source and find out the other parameters. So if we put a voltage source across these terminals, find the current through and then we have resistance equal to V0 by I and in case we are putting a current source, we have to find out what is the voltage across that source in order to find out what is the Thevenin's resistance. In this case, we have a dependent source and it said that if I current flows here, then 0.5 times I or half the current that is flowing in this branch will flow from here. So, a tricky approach is what we will do is we are going to put a 50 volt source, test source, which is a voltage source right across these two terminals. Across this terminal. Now what we have to do is, we have to just find out what is the current through here in order to find out what is the Thevenin's resistance. Okay. Now, what we have done by putting this 50 volt source is, we have effectively nullified the current flowing here because here we have 50 volt potential here also we have 50 volt potential. So, the current in this direction or the current I will be 0. Since this current I is 0, here this current source will also be 0 or it does not supply any current. So, the current coming here will also be 0. Now, what we have is 50 volt source with a 20 ohm resistance which means the entire current will be flowing through 20 ohm. That means the current I caused by the test source or in this direction will be equal to 50 by 20 ohm. Okay. Now we have V equal to 50 and I equal to 50 by 20. Now what is the inch resistance? It is nothing but 50 by 50 by 20 that is nothing but 20 ohm. In this case, what we have done is we have analyzed the question first before attempting it. We have seen that if we put a 50 volt source, we can nullify the current in this direction and take out what is the current through this dependent source also. So we have effectively simplified the problem in just one minute.